Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am just giving an update. I wanted to do it first part of the month because there is so much going on. It is going to be a busy September. So updates for the month of September. What do we have going on in September? First off, um, September is always a, a month of prepping. And um, I like to refer to it as Preptember. It is the one time of year that I actually really try to get a good inventory and um, rearrange my pantry and do all of that stuff. Um, so every week in September, I will be doing something for my pantry out there, my extended pantry. Um, the things I need to work on for Preptember are, I need to reorganize my shelves. I am running out of room to hold my canning jars out there. Um, but I do have extra canners out there and I have um, extra crock pots out there. I don't know why one person needs to own this many crock pots, but uh, they're, kind of, they're kind of my thing. <laughs> so I need to move my crock pots out of, out of there, the extra crock pots, um, and find a new home for them so that I can have more room for my canning jars. Plus, uh, all through the year, I've been kind of taking them out there and just shoving them wherever I can put them instead of, you know, completely organizing them. So, you know, I've got uh, chicken and pork mixed in together with tomatoes thrown in there. And, you know, anybody with OCD would walk in there and be like, ah! <laughs> so anyway, I do need to rearrange those shelves. I need to clean my pantry. It just looks in such disarray and my husband goes out there all the time when I tell him to take things out there and he just puts it on the floor and stacks it. Um, or he just pushes everything on the side of a shelf and puts a bunch of things that don't belong in there. So um, he's a big factor in why things are uh, really discombobulated out there. <laughs> so I need to go through and reorganize the whole thing. Plus, I need to take good inventory of what I have out there and um, get it written in the book so that I know what, what I've got. And it's so hard because I'm always in a hurry. I'm always cooking and I grab stuff from out there and I bring it in, especially my canned goods, and I use them and then forget to write down that I took those out and then I don't know that I'm out of them. Um, and I need to make sure that I am recanning the things that we use a lot of. I probably need to recan ground beef um, I'm almost out of ground beef. Now, there are a lot of people who don't like ground beef uh, canned. I love it. I prefer it that way. It gives it a softer texture. I really love it. My husband, not so much. Um, so when I open a jar, I tend to use it. My kids like it too. Um, so in my favorite is using it for taco meat. So there you go. Ground beef taco meat is my favorite. <laughs> So I'm probably do I'll probably do a video on canning um, ground beef in pints just for taco meat, and then I'll put the seasoning in. Um, so I will put that on my list to do because I need to do that. So I'll I'll be writing a big list of what I need to can for my pantry, as well. Uh, what else? Oh, I have two freezers in my pantry. They're smaller chest freezers, but as you know, chest freezers you put things on the top, things fall to the bottom. And then you're like, what is this? A freezer burnt item. So um, I did clean out the freezers six months ago. It is time to do it again. I did this one out here um, last month. So, and this is the big freezer. So that one is pretty much cleaned out. I could probably take a couple more things out of there um, to create some more room, but it's time to fill it up for the winter. And um, of course, you know, with sicknesses coming back through the winter, you just never know. So I'd rather be prepared and be ready. Um, so I, that's another thing, working on the freezers, getting those things cleaned out, see what I can can from there so I can refill them. I need to stock up again. Usually I try to do stock up in November, um, but I think I'd like to start early this year just to make sure that we have everything that we need because you never know what's gonna go on anymore. And, um, I don't have as many pantry items, like store-bought commercial pantry items in my pantry as 
a lot of people do. I have more home can homemade stuff in my pantry than anything. And I have five gallon buckets of flour, sugar, bread flour, rice, beans, that kind of thing. But I also need to make sure that I'm rotating through those beans too. So I probably should get some of those canned. Um, I do have the buckets labeled, you know, to use in order. And I have used quite a bit of the beans actually, so it's probably time to replace some. I need to fill up for pinto beans. We go through a lot of pinto beans around here. Um, so I definitely should be buying more pinto beans. I, I'd like to get like a 50 pound bag of those um, as we do go through those. Um, I need to make a list of the things that I do need to stock up on. I am almost out of flour and bread flour. I bought 200 pounds of flour, 200 pounds of bread flour, 200 pounds of sugar, and I did all of that last December and it's almost gone. So I think I am down to my last half bucket out there of everything. Um, so I need to restock that stuff. So that those are my list of things that I need to get. And what else? Um, probably stock up on more paper products. It's never been something I completely keep stocked up on. We were okay when the big toilet paper craze hit, but it almost got to the point where we were gonna run out, but we ended up finding some, so it was fine. But lesson learned, I need to stock a little bit more up on that stuff and paper towel, because we did run out of paper towel, and um, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I wasn't using paper towel. I just had to keep using towels and washing them instead of paper towel, so. Um, there you go, <laughs> which I guess isn't a bad way. It saves money, right? You got your cleaning towels, then you got your kitchen towels. So anyway, so paper, paper products I need to stock up on as well. What are your plans for prep timber? What are you working on for, um, stocking your pantry or organizing? Okay. The next thing I want to talk about collabs. I am in so many collabs. And it's so fun. Collabs are my favorite. I love coordinating with other channels to do really fun things. And the first one I want to talk about, um, because it's coming up first for me, is Spam Timber. Oh yeah, Spam Timber. So fun. Crepper Potpourri is putting on Spam Timber, and it is three of us. There is uh, Prepper Potpourri, Rogue Preparedness, and myself. And Monday, Wednesdays, and fr Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in September, we will be bringing you a new spam recipe. <laughs> so if you're stocking pan spam in your pantry, we're going to let you know things that you can make with those um, stocked up spams. Spam is actually a good product. I think it gets a bad rep, but I think it's a good product. And this is a little known fact about me. Nobody knows this probably, but I love spam and I'm kind of big on potted meats, you know, the underwood deviled ham and the deviled chicken. I love that stuff. <laughs> so spam is actually on the top of my list. It's something that I actually still eat. I love spam sandwiches. I uh, make an hors d'oeuvre with them. I make, I make an appetizer with them that my grandma used to make me after school snacks with. Oh my gosh. Anywho, so I am super happy to be in the Spam Timber collab. I can't wait. My first video is this Friday. I'll give you the links below for Spam Timber. You're not going to want to miss that. The second collab I am in is Soup Timber. It is going to be so fun also. <laughs> Every day in September there will, be, there will be a new soup recipe. This collab is put on by Amanda over at the Beals. She is so sweet. I absolutely love the idea of a soup collab because fall is coming. We all love soup. It's good comfort food. I love soup. So I will have two days in September of my recipes. In the description box below, I will put everybody participating in September as well. You're not gonna wanna miss that one. You're gonna wanna visit all their channels. Amanda will be doing a drawing in, for September as well. You're gonna wanna visit everybody's channel, watch their video and comment for your chance to win. I don't know what the um, giveaway is just yet, but everybody loves a giveaway. You don't wanna miss out. The next, um, the next collab I'm in is 
back of the pantry challenge. That one is going to be super fun. So back of the pantry challenge is just between a couple channels as well. Um, I will put their information in the description box below. That one is uh, put on by Lisa over at Sutton's Days and it includes um, Linda at Linda's Pantry, Mary Ellen at Prepper Potpourri, um, Linda over at Tilly Lou Creates, and Darcy at Purposeful Pantry, and myself. And that one is just kind of a pulling out an obscure item out of the back of your pantry and saying, what can we use this for dinner? What can I make dinner? How can I use this to make a dinner? You know what I'm saying? So that one should be a very interesting one and I am really looking forward to that. It is gonna be so much fun. I actually already did my first video for you and it airs on Monday. So the first set of Back of the Pantry challenge, we're all gonna release them on the same day. It is Monday, September 6th. You're not gonna wanna miss that. I will put everybody's name in the description box below so that you can go watch all of their um, back of the pantry challenge videos on Monday. It's so fun. Uh, we're, we've all been really excited about it and talking about the recipes that we're doing. So anyway, that one, it will go on. It'll be only one day a month and it'll go on, I guess, until we don't wanna do it anymore. Um, so, so who knows how long that will be, but it's a super fun concept. <laughs> Okay, that is all I have for um, collabs and Preptember. Um, going on around this house in September, September starts Halloween for us. Um, I will start the decorating process. It takes me a long time. I have a lot of decorations. I'm a big holiday person and I consider that a holiday, yes. Um, I love I love to do fun stuff with the littles. I did with my kids too, oh my gosh. In September, I started putting a face on everything they ate until the end of October. It was so much fun when they were little. They have very fond memories. In fact, we had family day Sunday and I said to my daughter, hey, what do you guys want for dinner? And my daughter says, ooh, can you make snake sandwich? <laughs> when they were little, I would make a stromboli and I would shape it into a little snake. I think I even did a video on it and then put some green food coloring in with the, um, egg mixture and put it on top and then use red bell pepper for the tongue. It was so cute. Anyway, it's delicious stromboli, so that's what we had. I didn't shape it in a snake though. Not yet, it's too too early. But uh, the middle of September starts that kind of month for us, so I will be bringing in the decorations and start putting that, adding that to my fall stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then also, planning for holidays we've been there's a lot of holiday discussion we're already working on christmas gifts we've been doing that since um july christmas in july but i have um, a lot of sewing projects i have a list of sewing projects longer than i am tall it's probably double and a lot of them are for christmas gifts so i really need to get started so i probably will have some more sewing videos coming out for you i'm kind of trying to and i don't know how long it will last and i don't want to commit to saying i will do it every sunday but i'm trying to post the sewing videos on sunday um so right now I've been working on my Autumnville quilt and I haven't had a lot of time to do it. So the top is just about done. Um, so and, and I'm kind of just trying to spread out the little block videos for you. So I'm doing them every Sunday. So the quilt will probably be done before you even see the last um, quilt block error. But I won't put, I won't show you the completed quilt until the last, I show you the last block. There's a lot of different blocks, or there's a lot of blocks in it, but there's only like, there's only four main blocks in it, and I've already showed you two, so I have two more to show you. Um, but there's just like, you know, there was 16 houses, um, 26, is it 26? I don't even remember. Maybe it's 16 leaf blocks or something like that. You know what, I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so I'll show you that when it is complete, the final product. And I might show you some of the um, sewing projects that I have going on also for Christmas. Um, it just really depends because, gosh, if one of my kids were to watch this, the video or something, I'll have to think about it. Hmm, maybe I'll just show you other sewing ideas. But I plan on spending a lot of time in there. I usually do. It's my, um, 
it's my happy place other than the kitchen, my two spots in the house. <laughs> and I have, I sat down and wrote lists of recipes that I want to bring you for the fall. So I will have those coming up also starting here in September. I am ready for some fall baking and some fall recipes. So I am going to start bringing you some of those um, in September. So probably next week starting because I do have a couple end of summer recipes left for you. So or maybe the middle of September, then I'll start the fall, but I am ready. <laughs> I'm ready for some fun stuff. And canning projects for the month. What do I have going on? You know, I have a couple different things that I want to do, go over with you. Since I'm in a September collab, I was thinking that I may also, in the month of September, do a few soup canning recipes for you. So I have those on my list. I don't know which days I'm gonna do them on, so I, I can't give you that. But in September, I will be doing soup canning. So September should be a really fun, really busy month. All right, I think that's all I have for you. Let me know in the comments below what you are doing for Preptember. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.